we got called liars by uh, con- uh, by the Congress, the pretty much the Democratic congressman, saying we lied about the standout order to sell more books. When they themselves, by this time, already knew this information, they already knew that there was no support coming to the consulate, so there was no reason for us to stand down. We were the only hope, only help or hope that they ever had. So the fact that him sitting there and these congressmen saying we lied about the stand down order, to me, that just verifies, like, why did we sit there and wait 30 minutes? If Bob knew that nobody was ever going to come, why would we sit there and wait? A politician <laughs> in a suit who probably doesn't even pick up his own dog probably has someone to do that for him too. Yep. Can sit there and bad mouth and call you guys liars when you are boots on the ground, bullets flying over your head. You got four KIA and you're doing everything you can to defend that American soil, that, uh, that, that American annex with everything you got and then come home and literally get spit on. Yeah. Well, plus, I mean, we're being lied to literally that night by our chief of base and our team leader. It just, again, there's all, all when we talk about anger, a lot of anger still flowing right now. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around some of the information that they've told me. So I would say, you know, so do you remember the, uh, the four Blackwater guys that got strung up on the bridge in Iraq? Do you I, I do. I do believe I do. Yes. So this is how jacked up our government is. The same terrorist att- terrorists that had orchestrated that were a part of the attack in Benghazi. I'm just dumbfounded. Who who would issue these stand down orders when you're under attack? 